this thing go on. <laughs> Story of my life. Right? Um, uh, oh, that's good. I don't know. Um, I'd like to, uh, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm very happy here for a couple of reasons to, to be in Brooklyn. One is the fact, obviously, of being part of Yes and uh, getting inducted into the Rock Roll Hall of Fame. And the other is something I really probably shouldn't tell you is that less than half a mile away from this very building was where I had my very first meaningful sexual experience. <laughs> <laughs> Never is that one. Anyway, um, uh, Steve said a thank you to his wife. I want to say thank you to mine. Unfortunately, she's not here tonight. When I left her this morning, uh, I, I think she was in a coma. Actually, well, I, I think she was in a coma. Uh, the sex was still the same, but the wife was piling up. Uh, but, uh, uh, I'd like to thank, apart from all the guys in here, that I worked with my father, who played a massive part in my uh, in my music career. And they, my family were all, all in the entertainment business. We generally, were very, very poor. Um, my father was an Elvis impersonator. Uh, and, well, there wasn't much call for that in 1947. And, uh, but he, was, uh, <laughs> he taught me a lot. I remember he sat me down once and said, Son, he said, don't go to any of those really cheap, dirty, nasty, squeezy strip clubs, because if you do, you'll see something you shouldn't. So, of course, I went. <laughs> and I saw my dad. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, very much uh, for inducting us. The only thing I, I would say, um, I'm glad that we're, we're actually up third because as you get older, you know, the old things like the prostate start acting up a bit. And the, the distance between comfort breaks gets less and less. Um, but I would like to say quite seriously how important it is to have at the old examination, which I had indeed on Monday. Ladies who don't know, it's really tough. You have to get in the old fetal position. You hear the old plastic glove go on, the rubber glove. And then it's like a ghost for going on holiday in the Oh my god. Whilst I was having my examination, the doctor said to me, he said, Mr. Wakeman, he said, uh, there's no need to be embarrassed. It's not unusual to get an erection with this kind of procedure. Uh, I said, I haven't got an erection. He said, I know, but I have. Uh, thank you very much for coming.